Like I said, no skill, no skill required. So we're gonna live up to the name. We're gonna snowball this, and um, yeah, apparently that poison was too aggressive because they lost their entire tower. What's up, everybody? It's Durky here, and today we're gonna be playing one of the most no skill decks of all time. And as you can tell by looking at my screen, it's gonna be everyone's favorite deck, Giant Graveyard. And I say it's no skill mainly because it's just really not that hard of a deck to play. It's really in intuitive to defend and intuitive to play. And most players struggle to properly defend a giant graveyard push. If you manage your cycle properly and you go in at the right times, your opponent most of the time won't even be able to defend. And if you're someone that's hard stuck at a certain arena or trophy level, if you run this deck or some variant of it, I promise you, you will get out of whatever arena you're stuck in. But I'm gonna hop into some games and show off everything that this deck can do. Before I do that, before we do that, I just wanna ask any of you that are watching this video to please smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. It is completely free for you, but it helps me a ton. So I appreciate that. Let's get into some games. Okay. Into our match here. We'll go ahead and throw out the good luck before they uh, realize what deck we're playing. In general, you can totally start by cycling archers in the back. That's a fine starting play. Because they did play the queen, I am going to cycle my little prince. And I'll probably pop the ability just to keep my prince alive. They'll probably respond with their ability. No problem. Guardian has a lot of HP, so it's going to take a lot of that queen damage. Looks like they're playing uh, Royal Hogs, most likely. Yeah, Royal Hogs EQ. No surprise there. It's a pretty common deck. You'll probably see a lot of it. So we know that they have a delivery in this deck. So we'll see if we can bait out the delivery and then maybe go for minions. Oh, Giant Skeleton's interesting. Wasn't 100% expecting that. Well played to my opponent. I'm going to go for the minions early here. Should clean up most of this. Then I'm going to bowler to pull it all back. And we survive. Might be Hog Rider, actually. I thought it was going to be Royal Hogs, but it actually looks like it's a Hog Rider deck. Bowler going to do a good job. Pretty much finishing off that queen, forcing out the ability. And we can pretty much ignore the rest of that queen. Take a little prince just to be safe. And hasn't played the Hog Rider yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a Hog deck. All right, we're going to pop the ability, see if we can force out a larger elixir response. Okay, there's the hog. No surprise. Little Prince is able to full counter the hog rider. No surprise. Little Prince is really, really good. For those of you that don't know. And we're going to kite this over to the opposite lane. And we're going to get ready to go in with our graveyard. And any damage we get here is extra credit. We'll see if what, what spells he has does have the earthquake earthquake a really really good response to the graveyard but we do force out the evil skeleton so that's amazing for us i'm gonna go ahead and split my evil archers early glad that i did bowler really low and you can see we actually take no hog damage so really really good defense i know a lot of people will struggle to defend the hog i'm gonna giant just so it you know forces out something from him i mean i don't know think i'm gonna go in for a graveyard on this push Wow, Evil Archer putting in that work. That's amazing. Okay, Little Prince here. That bowler is such a menace. We're going to cycle our archers in the back. We're just going to chill here. He takes the Naked Earthquake. That means he won't have the Earthquake for the uh, graveyard. So that's fine with me. So we have a lot in that lane. He cycles the Queen, but we're actually going to mix it up. He uses his log. We're going to go in here. See what damage we're able to get. He does have skeletons. He plays them on the giant. I'm going to snowball on the tower. Try and slow things down. You do. We get a ton of graveyard damage. And we force out a late log as well as a queen ability. And you can tell my dude is just a little flustered right now. Like he's not able to defend everything. And that's kind of what you're relying on in this deck to be honest. Is like in the arenas that you're playing. You're hoping that the people struggle to defend. Which a lot of the times is the case. We're going to switch up the lanes here. Let the little prince do his thing over there. Evil archer is going to clean all of this up. My man has to go for the defensive earthquake. We're going to minions down low here. And uh, I don't know how he's going to defend that, to be completely honest. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. This deck is so hard to defend properly. He gives me the well played. Don't know if he's being ironic, but we'll go ahead and take that win. We'll move on to the next one. All right, into our next match here. This person is running Expo, if that's the case. If their name is not Lion, I just realized you can't see the name. But his name is Javi Loves Expo. That would be pretty good for us. 
I'll cycle Little Prince in the back to get the game moving and have my giant ready in case they want to go for an expo. They have the bowler. No surprises. We'll just cycle our minions in the back corner. Bowler, one of the best answers for Little Prince, so not ideal for us, but it is what it is. Goes for the E giant. Okay, we're gonna go for a bowler of our own. And I don't know if I, I can really commit that much more on this, to be completely honest. I might have to let this get the damage that it's going to get. Okay. You don't really have great responses for the uh, E-Giant. But what we do have is a giant graveyard opposite lane. So we'll see how they opt to defend this. They do go for the Tombstone. I'm going to go ahead and snowball the Tombstone. Slow everything down. And look at that. The best defense is an offense. Absolutely. It gives me the well played. I know that they don't mean it. Okay. Little Prince here is going to clean up everything. Get that fire rate cooking. He takes the lightning. I'm fine with that. I mean, it's in the opposite lane where they have most of their damage. So I'm just going to chill. That will force out a bowler. So I'm going to go like that. We'll have a nice little counter push though. Definitely will have to respond to that bowler or it's going to take their entire tower. So... No gripes from me. So, neither of us can really defend great in this matchup. That's kind of how it, how it goes. Okay. Gonna get ready to go in. I'm gonna play my minions, just take care of this bowler. Hopefully that bowler doesn't get a shot. It will, though. Arrow's here. Might as well take the, the spell value where I, I can get it. And I'm the Little Prince onto this side. Okay, he goes for that. We're going to drop our bowler into the same lane. And we're going to try to DPS that down as quickly as possible. Alright, we're going to pop our Little Prince ability and then get ready with the graveyard. Great ability timing. Okay, those are good arrows. Okay, take care of the Evo Archers. No problem. And we don't get a ton of damage. But we defend for no problem, which is fine. I want the Evo Archers to stay alive here. Don't know if they're going to, though. Good NATO by my opponent. Very, very well played. I'm going to take the arrows here. Beautiful, beautiful. Force out the defensive tombstone. That's fine with me. We're going to kind of just reset here. He cycles their, they cycle their little prince in the back. That's a fair play. I'm going to go like this because they spent a lot. I, I want to have a little bit of split lane pressure. And then I'm going to go like this. I actually forced out a defensive lightning. You know that they don't want to do that. Wow. Weird tombstone as well. I think he's kind of panicking a little bit. We'll take those arrows on the archers. Those minions are going to hit the tower if he doesn't play anything. Beautiful, beautiful chat. And you know what we're going to do now? We're going to go for the graveyard snowball. And that's a good game. E-Giant, definitely not the easiest matchup. <laughs> um, but we made it work. No skill required, so we're going to throw out the GGs, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, into our next match here. So I think the bowler is easier to play in this deck, but if you don't have the bowler, you can replace the bowler with the... I think Dark Prince is what people play it with. There's also another variant. I usually see that runs like a Skarmy. Um, instead of like the little prince, you could do that as well. But I think this is the best variant right now. He takes the lightning, so I feel like that's a little aggressive. We're going to see if we can get a punish for it. And most likely we will be able to. I'm going to snowball the tower just to slow everything down. You can see one lightning, one aggressive lightning, and we essentially take their entire tower. That's the power of this deck. I mean, what? One negative three elixir trade. And that's all it took. No skill required. That's not just the thumbnail. That's the truth about playing this deck. So Little Prince Lightning probably does mean it's the E-Giant deck. That's kind of what it looks like. We'll see if we can bait out another Lightning from him. That would be fine with me if they want to go for the other Lightning. I don't think they have it in cycle yet, though, anyway. I think they're one card off. Okay, they play the Bowler. I'm going to respond with the Bowler of our own. And buckle up for a, a possible defense. Um, if they do go for the E-Giant... Okay, we're going to go in with just a Giant. We're going to Archers down low. I'm not going to Graveyard, but the Giant will take their tower if they don't respond. So, forces out the Cannon. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And... 
Archer locks on, which is awesome. That bowler is actually the real problem with the push. Okay. So we are able to spell their tower down. Not the cleanest defense for me. I didn't mean to split the archers. I meant to have both of the archers um, on the E-Giant, but it still works out. Um, excuse me. I'm going to go for the minions here. They don't get a lot of value against the E-Giant, and I want to force out Elixir. Okay. One of the minions goes towards the knight. No problem. Yeah, I'm worried that he's going to go for a NATO, so I'm going to go like this. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Yep. Okay, Little Prince is taken care of. Okay, he needs to defend that. He won't be able to take care of my Evo Archers, most likely. So I'm going to Snowball just to make sure that doesn't touch my tower. We're going to take their second tower because they overcommitted with that NATO. And life is good. We just need to defend for a few more seconds and we're fine. I can also pressure if they go in because it's so hard to defend a giant graveyard on the king tower. This will take this will three crown them if they're not careful. That's the great thing about this deck. See, they don't really have the elixir to go in for the E giant here. Yep. Yep. It's still it's still maybe gonna take his entire tower. That's crazy. Don't quite get the three crown, but we get another dub. So we'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Into our next match here. So unironically, I feel like my mantra when I'm playing this deck is like, when in doubt, just don't defend and attack. It's kind of that style of deck, uh, which is kind of why it's a little easier to play, kind of like a lower skill deck. I'm gonna cycle my little prince into the night. If they cycle a knight like that, it means they probably have like an Evo knight. Okay, good poison on the little prince by my opponent. Although my little prince is going to survive with a tickle of HP. So probably not what he wanted, to be completely honest. So what did I say? What did I tell y'all? Sack and attack, baby. Sack and attack. Okay. Unfortunately, he does have the Mother Witch. But even with the Mother Witch, I think we're going to get a ton of damage. Yeah, look. He literally has a Mother Witch and we still take... What? Uh, Two-thirds of their tower? So I'm chilling. Archer's low here. For the pigs that are going to spawn. He's probably going to try and take out the archers. And get a nice snowball here. Okay. Cool. So, sack and attack worked just fine for us. <laughs> we pretty much took their entire tower. And they have a mother witch, so that's good to know. I don't really have a good way to get rid of the mother witch. I could, like, arrow snowball or something, but it's not always the best. So, minor poison control. I'm gonna go like this here. Drop our minions. So he, I'm actually fine with them using the Mother Witch like that because then they don't have it for the graveyard. So if I was him, I actually would have saved that Mother Witch to be completely honest. We're gonna go in at the bridge. Missed time did a little bit with the bowler. That's my fault. Yeah, we messed up the timing, so uh, he actually gets an easy defense off, but we still get a little bit of damage. All good though. Okay, not the best push by my boy. It gives us a lot of arrows value. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. I don't think I'm gonna go for the graveyard. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill, just reset. That was more of a defensive giant anyway. We don't need to panic. We probably only need one good giant graveyard and we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna bowl like this in case they go in with wall breakers behind it. Okay, minions here for the wall breakers. Perfect. Okay, now I think is our time. Go like this. And we'll see if we can get any damage here. No guarantees, obviously, but it is one of the hardest pushes in the game to defend, even with all of the stuff he has down. Yeah, you can see we still get damage. <laughs> it's awesome. Bowler like this. And that's spell cycle range, so... My man had a Mother Witch. He had Poison. He had Mother Witch and Poison, and he still wasn't able to defend Giant Graveyard. So, that's just the way it goes. That's a good match. We'll see you on the next one. Okay. Into our next match here. Against Jandy. Pretty much, as long... Like, I don't know. I was thinking about starting plays, and like I mentioned, Archers is the best. If, you're, uh, if you want to go absolutely crazy, you could go Giant Graveyard at the bridge first play. You might be able to get away with it, but... That's a little too no skill for my liking. Okay, they let me cycle the archers for free. That could happen. 
Okay. Goes for the defensive miner. That's pretty well played. Another another deck that has poison. That's kind of unfortunate for us. But on the bright side, they don't have poison if we choose to go in for a graveyard now. So that'll be good. I'll keep that in mind. He's already anticipating it. He was ready for it. All right, we're going to go in. And that's how you got to play this deck, man. He cycled, it, he cycled their poison. Can we go ahead and get some sort of damage here? Nice. All right, 400 damage. One little minion shot there as well. I'm not. I'm never gonna complain about about that sort of damage. Archers like here. Little prince down low. Minions spreading out everything. We don't want to give them a ton of poison value. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're able. Stopping the balloon was the most important part of that push. So we do we do stop the balloon. Little prince is gonna get a little bit of damage, but not much. Life is good. So no poison in cycle. I could go in here. They defended it very well last time, so... I have confidence in their ability to defend a, the graveyard, but... Like I said, no skill no skill required, so we're going to live up to the name. We're going to snowball this. And, um... Yeah, apparently that poison was too aggressive, because they lost their entire tower. So... Wow, that's amazing. Wasn't expecting that. I want to force out the poison on the little prince so that way I can go for the Evo archers. That would be amazing. Bowler here to kind of protect our little prince. We'll see what they do. Ple Hopefully this forces out the poison. That's the goal. Okay, they go for the balloon. I'm going to go in for the giant graveyard on the king tower. No poison just yet. Okay, he's saving the poison. That's well played. Okay, we are able to defend our tower, so that's awesome. They'll most likely have to spend more to take it. Beautiful defense by us. Poison's not going to do it as well. He's going to have to continue to spend. He also doesn't have the poison for a defense now, so that's great. We're going to pressure here so he can't go all in on this push. Okay. He needs the poison for defense. We're going to go like this to catch a potential miner. And they're not going to be able to take our tower in time. So, well played by us. A win against Lava Hound. We'll see you in the next one. Into our next match here. I feel like as this game, as the video goes on and on, I, like, want to play more recklessly. Like, I'm getting away with stuff, and it makes me feel like I can just play the deck intuitively. And I feel like that's not the right move. So, they drop four Elixir with the Lumberjack. We're going to drop our five Elixir Bowler. And we're going to take our positive Elixir trade and move on with our life. Okay, I don't really have a great response for this, to be completely honest. I don't. I guess I could Little Prince. Yeah, that's probably the right play. Looks like it might be uh, Balloon Freeze. Okay, Little Prince here. Interesting. He drops a lot of Elixir there, to be completely honest. So I think he has a Freeze. I'm going to go like this, and I'm just going to let that do its thing. Um, And I think we're going to almost trade Towers. I mean, he... Okay, good NATO, but his tower's gone. Yep. Beautiful. Sack and attack, baby. So it looks like it is going to be balloon freeze. So we actually have a, a reasonable amount of balloon counters here. So our, we're okay. I do want to get to my Evo archers, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, perfect. Go like this. They can freeze if they so choose. Yeah, they do. We're going to go for the minions here. And... Mm, we don't quite stop the balloon shots. So that's unfortunate for us. But I am going to pressure with this because they did spend a lot of elixir. So that lumberjack's going to get eviscerated. Which is nice. And we're going to pretty much take their other tower. Yeah, little prince going in. Nice, nice. If they're just in a king tower, if they only have their king tower, that is incredible for giant graveyard. It's really, really hard for them to defend. So that's exactly where we want it to be. So I'm actually going to go in here. He can go for the uh, Inferno Dragon on the Giant. Yeah, he, they do. That's a good play. But they can't stop the Giant. And I'm going to minions like this. And you can see it's going to force out a great Elixir response from them. And one more of those will probably take the entire tower. So that's exactly what we want. We're going to be ready for their Lumberloon Freeze as well. Okay, we're going to pressure so they can't entirely go in. Needs to play defense. Okay. 
Yep, and <laughs> yep. What do you know? Can't defend. So the giant graveyard, absolutely. It's just a menace. It's a it's a menacing deck. So we'll go ahead and see you in the next one. And right into the next match here. So I, that last game was so funny because I feel like uh, Balloon Freeze is such like a cheesy, annoying deck. And we were able to take it down. Evo Skeletons, that's good to note for us. Cycles the log, so you know what that means. Time for us to go in. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? 2.6 it looks like. I'm going to freeze the queen and the tower. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cycled his log. Yep. Yep. Makes sense to me. Yeah, don't cycle your log. <laughs> you lose half of your tower. That's fair. It's balanced. Yeah, I'm telling you, this deck is disgusting. Bowler here. I'm just going to take care of the queen. Okay. I'm going to go with my archers here. If they go for, like, an earthquake, I don't think it finishes off the archers, so... They're going to get a lot of damage. It is not easy for us to defend, necessarily, but... It's all good. Sometimes this deck runs a Skarmy, um, but even if I had Skarmy, they have Earthquake, and they can just kind of Earthquake it out. Did I just see them cycle their log? <laughs> it's fine, though. They have Earthquake, so it doesn't matter. You thought I was going to defend that? Psycho. Nope. No defense, bro. You already knew. He pre-cycled the cannon. Well played. He's definitely going to probably... Ooh, Evo Skeletons. Okay. We're not going to get any damage here. That's just the way it goes when they run Evo Skellies. So, that's fine. Free defense for him. We're going to bowler like this and get ready with our, our minions. So, they do not have a great way to kill minions on offense. Like, on defense, they do. Um, because they have the delivery. But offensively, they don't have arrows or anything like that. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna Evo Archers. Fire Spirit doesn't kill minions, so. Yep, exactly. Exact the moon, though. Exact the moon, though. Okay. We go in here. Those That Archer is gonna do work on that cannon. We're gonna snowball here. Freeze up the tower a little bit. And we hit that Fire Spirit. Great. Forces out the defensive Earthquake. Life is good. Life is good. We're going to have our bowler ready for the probable hogs. Okay. Nope. Doesn't do it. It's fine with me. Set up a defense here. Archers as well. You know it's coming. It's just a matter of when. Okay. He goes for that. So he doesn't have Earthquake on defense here. So we're going to go in. We're going to see if we can snowball those evolved skeletons. We do. We do get the snowball on the evolved skeletons. So that's going to be a good game. He had delivery, log, and earthquake. And he still couldn't defend giant graveyard. So that's a great game. We'll see you in the next one. All right. I know our next match here. I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck. Like I'm running it in a, a classic challenge. And these are good players. And it's just like hard for them to defend. So this starting hand is the one that I'm like, okay, probably shouldn't go go crazy and cycle anything if they cycle anything that's more than like five elixir i'll go in with a giant graveyard <gasps> but i don't expect them to do that um, excuse me. Do okay well when in rome you know it's kind of how you got to play the deck okay am i going to be able to defend that's the question probably not okay he won't there's he doesn't have enough elixir to pop the little prince ability so, I'm going to just go like this. Push back this giant. And wow. Who would have thought? Giant uh, graveyard first play. Giant graveyard first play. Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? <laughs> it just feels so wrong. I will say, I don't know how great we'll be able to defend in the, the future, but... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yep. Yep. So like this. Pulls away the bowler. That's well played. I probably should have saved up for arrows there. That probably would have been better. But mm, it's okay. No, okay defense. Fish boy. Yeah. It's okay. As long as the fisherman's pulling away the bowler and not the little prince, that's ideal for us. Unfortunately, a lot of the thing with the, the giant graveyard is like the surprise factor, but cat's kind of out of the bag for us. Okay, bowler is one of the best answers to the little prince. So... 
I'm just gonna chill. Alright. Gonna force out hopefully a hopefully a, a reasonable response from this man. We're gonna minions here. And I think we'll save our tower. I don't know if he can say the same though. Mm, yeah, well defended by him actually. Gotta give credit where credit's due. That bowler absolutely went in on us as well. He needs to respond to those minions, though. Yeah, nice. He plays minions of his own. So we're going to go like this with our archers. And then... You know what time it is. Giant graveyard! Oh, I don't know about that lightning, fool. I don't know about that lightning. Wow, are you going to defend rage last minute? Maybe. Snowball's going to defend this. Yep. No, I don't know about that lightning. Eh-eh. Uh -uh. uh -uh. Against giant graveyard? Against Giant Graveyard? No, no, sir. Bowler like this. Minion arrows like this. Keep our, our uh, Evo Archers alive. And my boy's not breaking through. I knew he was going to BM. <laughs> I preemptively BM'd because I knew he was going to BM. <laughs> uh, no skill required. <laughs> See y'all in the next one. I didn't know our final match of the video. Uh, I do have one loss this video so far. I don't know if I'll put it in, but it was against 2.6. And uh, they actually like kind of destroyed me low-key. So that's definitely not a good matchup for Giant Graveyard. But um, everything else that I've played, I haven't really had any issues with. So, I, I don't know. What do you want from me, dude? Don't ask me. Don't ask me, dog. I guess, yeah, it seemed like it worked pretty well. Right? Like, I mean, any consequences for that action by me? Not really. You have to be care careful when they have a fisherman because they can activate graveyard. Or, <laughs> activate graveyard. They can activate the king tower with their, their fisherman. So you want to be careful, like, going in with your bowlers. You want to kind of try and save them for defense, you know what I mean? Okay, so he used his Skelly Drags and he used his um, Fireball. So I'm going to go like this. I know he does have arrows, but... Oh, come on. Get this down. Yep. Okay, he's... he's, he's yeah, that's it. He might be able to afford arrows last minute, but the Giant's going to go in. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can't do that. Little Prince here. Going to help out with the Fish Boy. Yep. And what is he running? A Royal Giant? Why does he have skelly drags? I don't know. Not entirely sure. We'll see if he'll he'll take the fireball again. We're gonna pull everything over here. Yeah, not not the best placement, but I didn't want to cycle my bowler. Kind of wanted to save the bowler, so we're kind of within spell cycle range. Arrows do one eleven. Um, so I'm just gonna try and try and defend smartly. You want to be going same lane as your opponent, so then you can cycle like your bowler in the back, and they like have to push into you. I'm going to take arrows on the recruits. I know it, like, sounds weird, but it takes the shields off. And then it's, like, a pretty easy defense from there. And we wanted to spike cycle a spell anyway. Okay. Misses the minions. We're going to evil archers in the middle. Okay. Well, that's bad for my boy. Okay. We're going to go like this. Doesn't have our fishermen. We're going to go in in the opposite lane because we're an absolute menace. We don't even care. Yep, he calls the GGs. We're going to go ahead and throw up the good games. My boy knows it. Everybody knows it. Giant Graveyard, you just can't stop it, dude. Nothing can stop this deck. Nothing can stop this deck. 2.6 maybe can stop this deck, but nothing else. <laughs> so that's the, la that's the last game of the video. I'll cut to an outro, but my god, this deck is crazy. That's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one last time for you. I had so much fun playing this deck. It's actually so easy. The winds just fly at you. So please give it a try. Have fun with it. And I promise you'll get some trophies along the way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.